Hello everybody, this is Jörg once again from YouTube channel Joggler66, Hour of the Truth, with a very short video. As you've probably seen already, it's only a few minutes long, but nevertheless, it is very powerful in its message. The message is a poem that I am going to read that is titled A Roman Miracle. You're gonna say, now what all of a sudden happened to Jörg? Did he <laughs> convert to Catholicism, speaking about Roman miracles? Well, I'm speaking about what the Roman Catholic Church calls the Mass. There happens a Roman Catholic miracle. You have to understand that, well, it seems like only in quote-unquote religion can a creature create the Creator. Can the pot can the clay make the potter that he's made of? There is a very interesting little poem that it's part of the reading of Babylon Mystery Religion. As you all know that I'm reading that book from Ralph Woodrow on my channel and you can find the videos in the playlist with the same name, Babylon Mystery Religion. And in that book is a little miracle and a little Roman miracle poem from an unknown author. And I'm gonna read that to you right now. So I hope you enjoy, and with a smile in your heart and a smile on your face, you'll enjoy this little reading. A Roman miracle. A pretty maid, a protestant, was to a Catholic wed. To love all Bible truth and tales, quite early she'd been bred. It sorely grieved her husband's heart that she would not comply and join the mother church of Rome and heretics deny. So day by day he fled at her, but still she saw no good would ever come from bowing down to idols made of wood. The mass, the host, the miracles were made but to deceive, and transubstantiation too she'd never dare believe. He went to see his clergyman and told him his sad tale. My wife is an unbeliever, sir, you can perhaps prevail. For all your Romish miracles my wife has strong aversion, to really work a miracle may lead her to conversion. The priest went with the gentleman, he thought to gain a prize. He said, I will convert her, sir, and open both her eyes. So when they came into the house the husband loudly cried, the priest has come to dine with us. He's welcome, she replied. And when at least the meal was there, the priest at once began to teach his hostess all about the sinful state of man, the greatness of our Saviour's love, which Christians can't deny, to give herself a sacrifice and for our sins to die. I will return tomorrow, lest prepare some bread and wine, the sacramental miracle will stop your soul's decline. I'll break the bread, the lady said. You may, he did reply. And when you've seen this miracle, convinced you'll be, I say, say I. The priest did become accordingly, the bread and wine did bless. The lady asked, Sir, is it changed? The priest answered, Yes. It's changed from common bread and wine to truly flesh and blood, Begora, lest this power of mine has changed it into God. So having blessed the bread and wine, to eat they did prepare. The lady said unto the priest, I warn you to take care. For half an ounce of arsenic was mixed right in the batter, but since you have its nature changed, it cannot really matter. The priest was struck real dumb. He looked as pale as death. The breath and wine fell from his hands, and he did gasp for breath. Bring me my horse, the priest cried, this is a cursed home. The lady replied, be gone, tis you who shares the curse of Rome. The husband too, he had sat surprised, and not a word did say. At length he spoke, my dear, he said, the priest has run away. To gulp such mummery and tripe, I'm not for sure quite able. I'll go with you, and we'll renounce this Roman Catholic fable. Author of this poem is unknown. So I hope you enjoyed it, 
and think about it when next time you hear something about going to a Roman Catholic Mass where the priest with a few little words calling it hoc est corpus meus is changing this host that is put in a monstrance and that host that is given to the one who is following the mass this little piece of so-called bread when saying the words hoc est corpus meus he changes it into the body soul blood divinity of our lord jesus christ over and over again I read to them this little poem and maybe there are some people who will finally start to wake up from the deception. This was Joggler 66 from Hour of the Truth. Thank you very much for listening and watching and until next time. God bless you all and bye bye.